how to draw the dimensions for a two-page comic spread. Start with Bristol board, 11 inch by 17 inches. This is the standard for comics. I use this for finished art. For loose sketches and pencil, I use Strathmore drawing paper to save a little bit of money. Measure one and one half inch from the bottom and the top in order to get 11 by 17 inches. If you do everything in 11 by 17 inches, you can skip this first step. Measure eight and a half inches from the left on the top and the bottom. Draw a line vertically to divide your sheet of paper into two equal halves. Next, we need to make a box that will be the safe zone for the art. I measure three eighths of an inch to the right and left of the center line. If you use the pink ruler, it's really easy. You can just count one, two, three, and you've got three eighths of an inch. The safety boxes should be six inches wide. So count out six here, Shoop. boop. Count out six inches, shoop, boop. There you go, six inch box, six inch box. Now that we have the width of our safety box, we need an extra line to show us the danger zone where we will put art that may get cut off. I measure in a quarter of an inch, boop, draw a vertical line. Repeat that step, measure a quarter of an inch, two dits on your pink ruler, boop, boop, two lines. So what have we got? A six inch wide safety zone, a risky zone where you can put art, but you're coming really close to the edge of the page, and a bleed. This art that's in this little thin rectangle here is most likely going to get cut off, but if you want your art to go all the way to the end of the page where it gets cut off, you'd like to extend it to this line, maybe even a little farther beyond. But the farther away you get from the safety box, the more risk your art has of getting cut off. So only put important stuff and words inside the safety box. Obviously, repeat this on both sides of the page. So the left side matches the right side. Measure a quarter inch, boop. Measure another quarter inch, boop.